The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman women's golf coach Suzanne Strudwick, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagles Sports Network. Coach Strudwick has announced her 2021-2022 signing class. And, Coach, you go from your largest signing class last season to a three-person class this season. What does it mean to have these three uh, individuals joining your team? Um, it means a lot. I mean, well, th thankfully, we don't have another seven coming in. <laughs> I know my upperclassmen were thankful of that, that I didn't go crazy again and bring in a huge class. But um, the recruiting was, you know, was so extraordinary for 2020. Um, and there were so many good players that I wanted to, to provide opportunities for. Um, and so it, moving forward, it, it will be that that core group of seven girls from last year and now it will be complementing and adding to so that's what this the the focus of 2021 was to bring in um, some girls that you know would complement and and help shape the team moving forward because for for next year it is going to be pretty much a fresh new start for us and you look at the class that you are bringing in, and it's split up pretty evenly between in-state and out-of-state uh, people. You have yeah. two people coming in from the state of Tennessee. How important is it to have that local talent coming to your team? Well, you know, what we had, which was so great, we had Hannah Holland, who I had tried to recruit in 2018 for the 19 class, and she transferred up. So Ashley is her younger sister, and I was so impressed with with both of them. I was sorry to not get um, Hannah the first time round, but so excited to get her for this for this year and moving forward. And she'll be a, a, a redshirt freshman for us. So um, academically, she's a sophomore, but she's, um, she's a freshman in playing. So we've got all four years with her. So having her younger sister um, of equal talent um, we've never had that combination before of two sisters, so I'm looking forward to that, the dynamic of that, two very competitive young, young ladies with a very competitive parents. Um, and so it, it'll be good. Um, I'm, I'm excited about that. Having another local girl, Sydney Thomas, come in, um, for me was, was exciting to bring in another local talent. Um, she hasn't had much exposure um, on a regional level as far as um, competition is concerned, but she's a late bloomer to the team, and those are always the diamonds in the rough. And so I've known about her for a couple of years, been teaching her and coaching her um, in her development, so I know what I'm getting, and, and she'll be great for the team. Um, Caroline Neems from Florida was somebody that um, I have a very good working relationship with a coach down in Florida, a teaching um, a professional who I've known for many, many years. And he is his golf academy teaches Caroline. And so I got to know about her about two and a half years ago. And I flew down to, to go watch her play, was extremely impressed with her. Um, and she is my number one recruit coming in uh, for 2021. She is going to be very dynamic for the team, bring a lot of skill, bring a lot of experience playing in tournament. She's going to be somebody similar to Elizabeth England that's going to compete straight away, um, as well as uh, Maeve Cummings from Northern Ireland. That same kind of talent pool that is going to be, um, you know, make a name for herself. I expect and hope very early on. So the combination of those three young ladies, um, I'm really excited about. They're going to add something to the existing girls, to the upperclassmen that will be on the team, and the, the well, freshmen now, the rookies, but will be sophomores next year. I think it will be, we'll have a tremendous team. And you talk about that talent pool. How important is it with these three incoming Eagles that you have that they mesh fairly well like you've seen with previous signing classes uh, with the tournaments that you take on because you do take on a high tier of uh, talent and yeah. competition? You have to have a full complement. Um, you've got to have, the, and that's any team, 
but for me especially what I want to bring in is girls that can play for us straight away. You're, you can only really recruit maybe if you're lucky one or two of those. I feel like I'm lucky this 2021 with Ashley and Caroline that I've got girls that are going to com be competitive straight away. Um, with somebody like Sydney and a couple of the, about three of the girls that I brought in for 2020, they're opportunities, they're diamonds in the rough that haven't had an opportunity to really prove themselves yet. And so with my coaching experience and teaching experience, those are the players that I can work on and develop. And that player development role is what I love, I'm passionate about um, teaching. Um, that's what it all comes down to. Sometimes with the other girls, you kind of just let them go. You provide the opportunities and let them go. They motivate themselves. They have their own teachers back home. Um, and you're just providing the, the competition, the opportunities, the scenario, the circumstance. With these other players, you're developing that talent. Um, we saw it with... Um, with Rachel Watts and how much she came along. It was just so sad that, you know, her senior se um, semester was cut short with the COVID um, this, this spring. But that type of talent, that you see a 20-shot difference from freshman year to senior year, from average 90 to average 70 and by their seniors. And those are the ones that really work hard, have the great attitudes, and really, you know, become the backbone of your, of your team. Coach, congratulations on this signing class. It is a big one to be excited yes. about, so thank you so much for your time. Thank you, appreciate it. She is Coach Strudwick, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.